This video shows how to export data collected from Data Streamer in Excel into a CSV file. There are two methods that you can use to create a CSV file. The first is a record data feature located here on the top, and the second is by manually saving the data and changing the file format. That would be through File Save As up here in the corner. First, I will demonstrate the record data feature. In order to start recording data, you must hit start data first. As you can see, our live data is starting to populate here on um, the data streamer. So in order to start recording the live data that's populating, you want to hit this button here. It says record data. And now um, this is automatically recording any live data coming in from the moment that you hit record data. And then as soon as you want to stop, you'll automatically be able to generate that CSV file. So I'm going to hit stop recording. I've been recording long enough. Stop. And here we can see file type is comma delimited file, which is our CSV file. And then we can rename this file to whatever we choose to. I will rename it record data feature. And this is where I want to save it and I'll hit save. And it says our recording is saved and you can then browse your recorded CSV file. All right. So now data is still continuing to populate because I haven't stopped the data collection just yet. Um, but as soon as I'm ready to stop, I will go ahead and hit stop. Now I have some live data that's populated here on this file. Um, if I want to make a CSV file uh, with this live data in front of me, I'll go File, Save As, Browse, pick a location, and then rename it. On this case, I'll rename it as Manual Save Data. And then notice that the file type is automatically um, input as Excel workbook. We're going to want to change that to CSV or comma delimited. And then we hit save. This one we can sit, or select OK. And now you'll have in your folder, we'll go documents, manual save data, and then record feature. So I'm going to open up the record feature data file first. So you can see what it looks like. So here, as we can see, we have the temperature data, but we're missing that um, timestamp history um, that was included in the live file. So one step back to using the record data features, you're only going to get a temperature um, stamps versus the timestamps in this one. However, note that it still exists, but what Excel does with it um, kind of beyond um, what we do here in our manual save data. So let's go ahead and open up our manual save data. So if you want that time history to populate, oop, let's close this one. Don't save so we can open as a CSV file. There we go. So with the manual saving method, there you can see both the timestamp history and you can see the temperature that's being recorded. Um, keep in mind in that case, whatever was showing on the page um, at the time that you saved it is what's going to be saved when you manually save your data. So again, another setback in using this method is you won't get the full thing, but you'll at least get part of it and you'll get that timestamp history. So depending on what data you want to use or you want to keep both of those methods um, you can use to save data into a CSV file. And those are your two methods.